welcome to class of physics in previous videos we derived two maxwell's differential equations now derive two more equations before that once again see what are those differential equations proposed by maxwell's and what are the basis to derive those equations maxwell's equations are basic equations of electromagnetism which includes gauss law for electricity and magnetism Faraday's law and Ampere's law. So Maxwell's four differential equations are here. here. Two differential equations are for electric field and two for magnetic field. Here first two differential equations are you derived based on Gauss law for electricity and magnetism. So first equation is divergence of electric field is equal to rho by epsilon naught and the second equation is divergence of magnetic field is zero and third equation is derived by using Faraday's law and fourth equation is derived by using Ampere's circuit law so we have to derive these two now so this equation can be modified so first equation can be written as del dot d is equal to rho you can write in this equation also and the fourth equation can be written as del cross h is equal to j plus do d by do t because here the relation is there between e and d so d is equal to epsilon naught into e and here the magnetic field B is replaced by H so the relation between P and H B equal to mu naught into H so using these two relations we modified the first time the last equations okay so now derive two more equations that is third equation and fourth equations so these two equations are derivations are a little bit lengthy yes Maxwell's third equations. Maxwell's third equation is derived from Faraday's law of electromagnetic inductions. And the statement is if the flux of magnetic field across closed conducting loop varies with time, then an EMF electromotive force is induced in it, which is equal to negative time rate of change of magnetic flux. Here the flux of magnetic field across closed loop conduct close conducting loop varies with the time then there is an induced emf then emf is induced so that is equal to the the ne negative time rate of change of magnetic flux so here the expression is e equal to minus d pi by dt here e is the emf electromotive force pi is flux dou pi by dou t that indicates the rate of change of flux with respect to the time and in other words the flux can be written as pi equal to so here the flux is magnetic flux not electric flux here the magnetic flux is equal to b bar dot ds bar so as usually the flux is defined as the lines of forces passing through the surface area so then it is b into a is the flux equations but here in integral form we are going to take the small patch of surface area for that then this becomes b bar dot ds bar so in integral of ds bar will give us that the a is obtained by integral of ds so that we can write flux as b bar dot ds bar and in other words electric emf can be written as in terms of electric field circular integral of e bar dot dl bar okay so now substitute pi and e in this equations then we get circular integral of e bar dot dl bar this is replaced by this equation equations is equal to dou by dou t the pi is given by this first equations integral of b bar dot ds bar now we have to simplify these two but these two integrals are in different integrals integral forms so this is with respect to the length or with respect to path and this with respect to surface now we have to make uniform in these two integrals then only you can 
add our substract for that here we are applying the stokes theorem to this left hand side equations using the stokes theorem we can convert the line integral to surface integral so here i am writing p as path that is represented by the line integral to surface integral using stokes theorem then we have to apply curl to this vector field then del cross e equal del cross e dot ds now this line integral is replaced by the surface integral ds and right hand side equation is as it is now these two integrals are of the same form these two are with respect to surface integral so then we can add or subtract now bring this right hand side equation to the left hand side then this sign becomes plus then write these two terms in a single integral form for that surface integral of del cross e plus dou b by dou t dot ds is equal to zero now this integral is equal to zero the surface integral is equal to zero then we can write the integrand whatever the integration we are going to perform so this can be equate to zero that is the next step for that del cross e plus dou b by dou t is equal to zero that we have written here bring this dou b bar by dou t into right hand side then del cross e equal to minus dou b by dou t which is the third equation of Maxwell's this equation is derived by using Faraday's law of electromagnetic inductions okay. curl of electric field is equal to negative rate of change of magnetic field yes. then the fourth equation yes. so this is the important equations and this equation is also called as modified ampere circuit law yes. Maxwell's fourth equation is derived from Ampere circuit law states that the circulation of magnetic field around a closed loop is equal to total current enveloped by the closed loop and multiplied by the permeability of the free space. Simple. Here, the magnetic field circulation of magnetic field around the closed loop is equal to the the current enclosed by the loop multiplied by the permitted in mathematical form we can write like this circular integral b bar dot dl bar equal to mu naught into i so now this equation is modified by replacing b to h or b by h so that relation is b equal to mu naught into h mu naught is the permeability of free space so then we can modify this equation into circular integral of h bar dot dl equal to i this mu naught bring this side then it becomes b by mu naught b by mu naught is h1 yes so here this term indicates current now replace this current in terms of current density the relation between current and current density is i equal to z bar dot ds bar so this is the relation i equal to z bar dot ds bar now rewrite this previous equations by replacing the i term then circular integral of h bar dot dl equal to z dot ds here now one is line integral this is closed loop for line integral and this right hand side integral is surface integral so if you want to add or subtract these two integrals should be in the same form for that apply the stokes theorem to this left hand side equation then we can convert the line integral into surface integral now then the left hand side and right hand side both integrals are becomes with respect to the surface integral so applying stokes theorem to this then it becomes okay here it is h del cross h dot ds equal to mu naught j dot ds this one is as it is but so this term is written as del cross h into ds this is line integral then that convert into surface integral bring this right hand side term into left hand side then it becomes minus of j dot ds then equal to zero now both integrations are with respect to the surface surface integrals are there then write in common integral sign so integral of del cross h minus j to ds is equal to zero then this surface integral is equal to zero that means the integrand 
can be equate to 0. What is the integrand? Integrand is del cross h minus j. So that is equal to 0. Bring this j into right hand side, then it becomes del cross h equal to j. Okay. So this is a term. But so this is not the correct equations. For that, we have to check and whatever the modification is there, so that we should modify. Then that modification is made by the Maxwell's by using a corrected Ampere circuit law equations. Here, this should be applied to the time varying magnetic field also. So now, this can be verified by using continuity equations okay, or continuous theorem. Continuity equation is says that del dot j equal to dou rho by dou t that means the divergence of current density is equal to minus of dou rho by dou t so we have to check whether this equation is valid or not using these equations here there is no divergence of current density but there is a term of current density is there for that we have to apply divergence to the equation then whether it is equal to zero or equal or not equal to zero we have to check Yes. apply divergence to these equations del dot del cross h equal to del dot z simple just take divergence here divergence means del dot and here also del dot okay then what happens here del dot del cross h that means it is divergence of curl the inside bracket is that is curl term for that divergence of curl is always equal to zero so that becomes del dot j equal to uh, 0 but what continuity equation says del dot j equal to something something means it should not equal to 0 but when you apply this theorem to the equations then it says that the divergence of current density is 0 that means this equation is not correct we have to modify these equations or we have to add something to these equations or subtract to these equations okay So equation 1 is not valid to make it valid to modify the equations for this Maxwell introduced concept of displacement current then the equation becomes here for make it modify the Maxwell's is introduce a concept of displacement current okay. so then this equation is modified which equation equation 1 is modified this is equation 1 this equation is modified by adding the displacement current density that is zd now whether this equation is valid or not check once again by applying the same concept so then equation one is modified like this del cross h equal to j plus zd here zd is the displacement current density now again take diver divergence to equation to this call this equation number two apply the divergence to this equations then again it becomes del dot del cross h is equal to del dot j apply divergence to this then it becomes del dot j apply divergence to this equation also then it is del dot j d again del dot del cross h that is divergence of a curl is zero so what is left del dot j plus del dot j d is left so bring one into left hand side then del dot j equal to minus of del dot j d so here this del dot j divergence of current density is not equal to zero okay. so that indicates this equation is valid but now we have to find what is the value of del dot j d current displacement current density for that so according to continuity equation what is del dot j del dot j is minus of dou rho by dou t so substitute this in equations del dot z equal to minus of del dot j substitute value of del dot j which is minus of dou rho by dou t then it becomes minus minus plus so del dot z equal to dou rho by dou t now we get the divergence of displacement current but we don't want divergence of a displacement current just we want displacement current which is from equation 2 we need only z d value not del dot z d so find the z d value that is displacement current density then substitute in this equation then it will complete so for that from Maxwell's first equation, so what is Maxwell's first equation? It is del dot E equal to rho by epsilon naught. So 
we can write d equal to epsilon naught into e that means bring this epsilon naught here then it becomes epsilon naught into e that epsilon naught e is replaced by d then this equation becomes del dot sorry del dot d equal to del dot d equal to rho that that means what is the value of rho the value of rho is del dot d so replace this rho in this equations then this becomes del dot z d equal to dou by dou t of the rho value is del dot d or divergence of this d then here this is also the divergence and this is also divergence then this one more step we can write it as del dot z d is equal to del dot dou d by dou t so we can write z d equal to d dou d by dou t now we get the value of displacement current density substitute this in equation number 2 what is equation number 2 equation number 2 is del cross h is equal to z plus z d you replace this z d by these equations then it becomes del cross h is equal to z plus dou d by dou d which is the fourth equations of Maxwell's but this equation is also called as Ampere's modified equations the correct equation of Ampere's circuit law so these are the derivations of Maxwell's differential equations these four derivations are very important practice again and again okay. so in next class we are going to discuss the integral forms of Maxwell's equations and their significance thank you